At the end of World War II, there was an execution method deployed inside of Czechoslovakia, Hungary and Yugoslavia, which was very public, and thousands of people flocked to see it being used. This was pole hanging, and prominent war criminals were taken to the pole or post to be executed, and it was very different to the gallows. The pole required a skilled executioner and his assistant to work well to bring the successful end, meaning an execution which was not botched. This was an execution method which had been used during the First World War to bring the lives of many enemy soldiers to an end, and their remains were left up to send a stark message to the enemy. But on the 13th of January 1931, there was a woman who was brought to the execution post inside of Budapest Central Prison, and she was condemned in front of a crowd who wanted to see her dead. But her execution did not go as well as it could have. Welcome to the fortress. Today we look at the pole hanging execution of Maria Cardos. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Maria Cardos was said to have been a rather rich peasant woman inside her hometown of Nagarev. It was claimed that when she was younger she was rather pretty and beautiful, however she had trouble with marriages, and she twice divorced and she did have a son. But her son would become Maria's victim. Her son suffered with his health, and he became a burden to Maria, and with this she visited a local midwife and managed to get hold of some arsenic, in which she would use to poison her son. She claimed that, I gave him poison in his medicine. Suddenly I remembered how splendidly my boy used to sing in church, so I said, sing my boy, sing me my favourite song. He sang it with his lovely clear voice, and then he suddenly cried out, gripped his stomach, gasped, and he was dead. After the death of her son, she then remarried, and she was threatened with divorce with her next husband, and she used the arsenic again, and she thought it was a good way of dealing with her husband. She murdered him too, and later admitted this murder in court. She was accused of the murder of more than one person, her loved ones, and she was taken to court and wore silk stockings and leather shoes, and was dressed in her best clothes. During her police interviews, they thought she was a woman who wanted to change her city, but this intelligent lady was someone who was a murderer. She was in January 1930 convicted of the murder of her husband 11 years previous, and also her son, and with this was sentenced to death. On the 13th of January 1931, Maria Cardos was taken out of her prison cell inside of Budapest Central Prison, and she was taken to the execution post. Her method of execution was pole hanging, and in this the condemned was usually taken up to a three metre pole, and at the top of the post was a noose which was attached to a hook. They were taken up to the pole, and the executioner then secured the rope around the neck, before the stool was taken out and the noose snapped tight around their neck. But Maria Carlos' execution did not go well. There were 70 people who were there to witness the execution, and in the crowd was Maria's young lover, who she had taken in the months before her arrest. She was woken up at 6 o'clock and her lover was allowed to visit her cell, and she was then taken into the courtyard where the pole stood. When the hangman entered the cell, she became hysterical and cried, knowing her life would soon be brought to an end, and he worked out her weight to work out the noose needed to bring her life to an end. The prison wardens had to carry her to the scaffold, as she was so distressed, and she was screaming, have pity on me, and was then taken up to the scaffold. The executioner's assistant tied her arms and legs so she could not move, and then the noose was secured around her neck. When the executioner completed his final checks, he removed the stool, and the noose snapped tight on the pole, and Maria Carlos was left hanging. Her lover ran around the courtyard screaming, and it took eight minutes for her to die, and the executioner's assistant even had to go up to her body and pull on it many times to bring her life quicker to an end. Maria Cardos was a woman who had no shame. She brought the life of her son and her former husband to an end cruelly, using poisoning to do this, and was a brutal woman who was executed by pole hanging in front of a sizeable crowd. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.